What's up everyone? Welcome back to Workshop Rebuild. We're back on the Thomas Skidsteer, so stay tuned. Okay, so I'm back on the Thomas Skidsteer. I finally have the Kubota V2203 ready to put in and I'm gonna get ready with the rubber mounts and then we can already put the engine in. So let's get at it. So I just got the engine in, it was quite a hassle to align those rubber pieces and at the same time put it onto the hydraulic pump spline, which is the main pump for this skid steer, but everything is on right now. But what I'm going to have to do is align the engine as straight as possible, even though it's a U-joint, I'd like to have it as straight as possible, the engine aligned to the main pump and then I will be attaching four of these bolts that go through the rubber engine mounts and I will be tightening them down and hopefully everything is safe and sound. After that I can work on some hydraulic hoses that are still around and I have to put on the back door which is right here. I 3D printed all the bushings and in the back door we're gonna have the oil cooler or the oil radiator and I'm gonna have the oil filter as well so I can assemble that and hopefully after that I can just do some final touches with some linkages and some wiring and then we're ready to go move up front. As you guys can see right here, uh, everything is painted the back door. I still have some touch up work to do from where I held it. But beside the point, I put in the new pins. I clean them all up so they spin and turn in there. I installed new spring pins right here and right here on the side. And I went ahead and 3D printed new bushings right here that fit perfectly. So on the top and bottom. Uh, before I took this apart, uh, the bottom bushings right here were totally torn apart because all of the weight of the door was forcing the bottom bushings just to get damaged. And now I painted it, I straightened it, and I took all the rust off of it. And as you guys can see, the door swings open perfectly without any chatter and without any movement up or down because the bushings are replaced. After I install everything in the rear door and get the engine secured and in line with the drive pump, 
I will be able to work on the engine and some linkages that have to get attached to the governor and the throttle and make sure all the levers up front are fully functional so when we go and start up this machine everything will be perfect. So let's get at it. I was able to touch up all the little spots that weren't painted on this back door and now I can install the oil cooler. So I was able to get all three hoses in and everything is placed where it should be. Now I'm just going to make sure that everything is tightened and aligned the way it should be and then I can move on on finishing the back door. <laughs> 